Basque Legion is on the radar of many players as perhaps the strongest of the new Hisuian Pokemon coming to Generation 9 with the release of Pokemon Home. This Pokemon has a lot of powerful traits, but let's begin with the most obvious one. Basque Legion has access to the move Last Respects. Last Respects is a ghost attack that increases in power for every fainted party member on your team. This is one of the strongest moves ever created and it has already gotten a Pokemon banned to Ubers in competitive singles. Houndstone has this move, in addition to the ability Sand Rush, which doubles its speed in the Sandstorm. This move could achieve a base power of 350 if all party members fainted, which is just absurd and eliminates almost anything, even Pokemon that resist Ghost. So Basque Legion has the same move and the ability Swift Swim, which also doubles speed but in the rain. It has a higher attack stat than Houndstone, very good HP, and even without last respects, it looks like a pretty excellent Pokemon. Clearly, this is gonna be just as powerful, if not more powerful, than the already banned Houndstone. Many players take issue with the fact that Houndstone the Pokemon was banned, rather than the move itself, last respects. Without this move, Houndstone wouldn't be an issue at all. It's just this one move that pushes it over the edge. Their reasoning for this was that because Basque Legion was coming out and had access to the same move, that we had to wait and see if the move would be okay on a different Pokemon. Even though Basque Legion has not released yet, we can safely assume that last respects is going to be too much to handle on this thing. So, what's likely going to happen is that the move will end up being banned and Houndstone will be allowed in OU again. However, in my opinion, I think that Basque Legion will remain a massive central threat, even without access to Last Respects. Basque Legion has another great ability besides Swift Swim, Adaptability. This ability increases a Pokemon's same type attack bonus to double instead of 1.5 times. This ability also stacks with Terrastalization, and if you terrestrialize into a new type, the adaptability boost now applies to that new type. The most alluring option is to simply Terra Water. This will enhance water damage by another 1.5 times on top of that adaptability boost that it already gets. With access to Wave Crash, Liquidation, and Aqua Jet, this Pokemon has every option in the world for huge water type physical nukes. All of these stacked effects that boost the power of water moves mean that the damage from Basque Legion's Wave Crash in the rain is able to break through even some of the best defensive Pokemon available. Corviknight with full defense investment just dies in one hit. Amoongus with full defense, even with its water resistance, gets two hit killed on the way in. Dondozo with full health gets two hit. Even a Dondozo with full defense investment takes quite a lot. After a slight bit of chip damage or after one spike, it will likely get two hit. If not even Don Dozo can act as a reliable switch into a water type physical attacker, that is kind of a problem. The damage output from Liquidation and Wave Crash, along with Terra Water, is almost comparable to Dracovish and its absurd wall breaking ability with the infamous Ficious Wren. It's not quite at the same level as that, but the ability to nuke through things that are supposed to resist you and answer you is similar. So you have one ability, Swift Swim, that enhances your offensive potential by doubling your speed in the rain. You have Adaptability, to enhance your wall breaking potential further by increasing your stab damage. And there's even a third ability option, Mold Breaker, which allows you to ignore the effects of enemy abilities. This will let you sacrifice some offensive power for the ability to ignore water immunities completely. If Dracovish is the frame of reference here, I think that Basque Legion is going to bring water immune Pokemon back into the metagame to deal with it. And with access to Mold Breaker, you now have an option to handle even that. The downside of this is that Mold Breaker reveals itself when a Pokemon who has it switches in. So if they know you have Mold Breaker, they know that you don't have Swift Swim and can't outrun certain things, or they know you don't have adaptability and therefore something like Dondozo would actually function as a wall against you. Still, this is an option worth noting that increases the flexibility of an already very powerful looking threat. I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen when Basque Legion releases. The metagame will look completely different with all of the new Hisuian Pokemon, and maybe it'll be more manageable than it looks, even if Terrastalize is still allowed. We can only speculate at this stage, and things always end up different than we think in practice. But my hunch is that this Pokemon is going to be similar to something like 
Chi Yu at the moment, an overtuned wall breaker that is very difficult to respond to, that can brute force through things that are supposed to answer it. What do you think? Are you excited to try out Bascule Legion? Or are you already frightened of the fish? What Hisuian Pokemon are you looking forward to using in Generation 9? Let me know down below in the comments. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Gen 9 gameplay, discussion, and informative content. Thank you to the patrons. If you'd like to see a team that you built feature in one of my videos, or request a video topic for me to cover, take a look at my Patreon link in the description for more information. The money got different Cause of what I'm spending the money got different. Oh, it's Magneton! Cause of what I'm spending. Whoa, the money got by different. It's scattered spikes. Cause of what I'm spending. The money got different. Cause of what I'm spending.